Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be talking about seven times where characters repeated the same lines of dialogue from the first Red Dead Redemption game. So this is a really cool detail that Rockstar has packed into RDR2, where a lot of the characters you see in Red Dead Redemption have stated the same lines if you were paying close enough attention. And we're going to be talking about seven instances where that occurs today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the line from Red Dead Redemption 2 first, and then I will play the line from Red Dead Redemption after, so you guys can have a better idea of where it ultimately came from. So the first bit of returning dialogue is talking about how John Marston got his scars. Dutch actually jokes with him that he didn't get them falling over in church, and it's revealed in a campfire conversation. Them scars are still pretty raw. <laughs> New ones or the old ones? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, Marston. Uh, you are so tough right with to them you. scars. Yeah. How'd you get them scars, John? Hello. Uh, being tough. <laughs> I ain't tough. I'm either stupid or slow. I cannot decide which. Either way... I keep getting caught. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. What do you mean? Seems like you've been getting caught by a few things. Not just wolves and knives. <laughs> Ain't nothing ever caught me Dutch didn't want to eat me. Well, exactly. I think that's the point. Listen, I didn't get these scars falling over in church. Not yet, you didn't. Just what do you mean, Dutch? You think I don't know what you did back in the old days? I'm not stupid. You could have fooled me. You think I didn't sit up and listen to Dutch and Bill telling all those stories? You think I don't know who you are? It ain't no secret I didn't get these scars falling over at church. But nobody tells me anything. You and Ma pretend like nothing happened. So that was pretty cool. John in Red Dead Redemption references to Jack that he didn't get these scars falling over in church when riding back to Beecher's Hope. That is pretty awesome. The next bit of returning dialogue is in the mission where Dutch and the gang actually kill Angelo Bronte. And Dutch basically asked to describe that it was either him or us. And uh, it's a pretty cool line of dialogue that uh, we actually see John say once again when he's capturing Javier Escuela. Call them now! You call them! Jesus! What in your philosophy books cover feeding a fellow? The goddamn alligator, Dutch! The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. Now, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. This next bit of returning dialogue might be the most famous, and it's actually with the word implore. So we actually see Reigns fall using this in chapter 6 to discourage his son from fighting, and we famously see Bill Williamson use this in one of the first missions in Red Dead Redemption, Exodus in America. My only boy, my precious boy. Do not mistake my strength for weakness as your chief. I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. Don't. Ride with me! Now! Stop. Please. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> You implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. No more Dutch. 
bitch! And no more you! <laughs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. This next bit of returning dialogue might be the saddest. It starts with John Marston and Arthur when they were placing dynamite on that bridge. And essentially, this is where Arthur tells John to leave the gang and, and don't look back. And we actually see John doing this with his family in the mission, The Last Enemy Shall Be Destroyed, where John ultimately gets captured by the Pinkertons. There was a code we had. Gotta still mean something. Sure. I know, but listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It was all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. Hey, come on. Now listen, Jack, Narlin, get on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go! Get! This next bit of returning dialogue might be the funniest, and it has to do with Dutch Vanderlyn uh, sort of explaining how there's, there's two theories to talk to a woman, and neither are correct. And we actually see John Marston reuse this same line in Red Dead Redemption when talking to Bonnie McFarlane. It's like I always say. There's two theories when it comes to arguing with young women, and neither of them work. Oh, I've heard you say that nonsense before, and it did not impress then any more than it does now. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. There's a lot of significance to this next returning dialogue because you'll notice how similar the scenes are. Essentially, this is where Dutch and Arthur are almost captured by the army and they're standing on the edge of a cliff. And Dutch's famous line is, you can't fight change. You'll hear him say this in this mission and you'll also hear him say this uh, during his death in the mission and the truth will set you free in Red Dead Redemption. Hello, officers. You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here! Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that now. It's waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight gravity um, ah! hello again John hello Dutch we got to stop meeting like this sure I got a plan John you always got a plan Dutch this is a good one I don't doubt it. 
We can't always fight nature, John. We can't fight change. We can't fight gravity. We can't fight nothing. My whole life, all I ever did was fight. Then give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, neither. I can't fight my own nature. That's a paradox, John. You see? And I have to shoot you. When I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. They have to. Because they have to justify their wages. That's their business. Our time has passed, John. So it's pretty crazy how similar Rockstar made those two speeches right there. I found that to be really, really cool. And the final bit of returning dialogue today is basically John Marston saying to Dutch, you left me to die. Now we hear this in Red Dead Redemption 2 in the final mission of chapter 6. And we also hear John Marston say this in Red Dead Redemption in the mission, great men are not always wise. Dutch! John! left me left me to die my boy i didn't have a choice john i didn't you i didn't have a choice left me all of you you pick your side now because this is over of course of course i surrender john you're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint. But equally, I never took you for an errand boy. So anyways, that right there is seven times where characters in Red Dead Redemption 2 have repeated the same lines of dialogue from the first Red Dead Redemption game. And a lot of times they were some of the more significant lines of dialogue or funny jokes that, you know, some of the characters had overheard. So as always, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Do you know of any other instances where this occurred? And what was your favorite moment from this video today? Again, let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.